everybody, so if you're anything like me, you love things that are technical, things that are engineering, things that involve hammers and saws and bits of material and cutting the ends off your fingers, all that kind of stuff is absolutely fascinating to me. I don't worry about my fingers, some super glue electricians take takes care of those, but we've been working, as you know, on a wind turbine, and when you open a door, Loads of other doors open and quite often I'll go convoluted ways just to see what else there is and that brought us to the idea of the Tesla turbine which we looked at in video 1888. Now, traditionally the Tesla turbine is basically a stack of flat discs and when people make them at home, and I've made a few of them, they use these things, CDs. You just stack a lot of CDs together and put it under a stream of water and hey presto it'll spin. Well, that's the theory. In practice, it's actually a little temperamental to get the angle right, and they work better under high pressure than they do under low pressure, which is relatively disappointing and makes them kind of hard to make. And that's what prompted video 1888. And in video 1888, we looked at this at cone. Would a series of nested cones work? Well, turns out it does, and the angle is slightly less critical. And of course, if you're looking at that flat disc nested cone, you immediately ask yourself, okay, so what about cylinders? So I did this in cylinders and disappointingly that didn't work at all. So somewhere between this, this and this is a Tesla turbine shape that should work under low pressure, work at low RPMs, be easy to make and be superbly non-critical for its components. Now, because we're working on wind turbines, we're particularly working on the Erasmus Darwin wind turbine. Incidentally, I've added Erasmus because every time I say Darwin, people think Charles. It was Erasmus Darwin. And of course, because we're working on that, we have a bunch of these. These are hyperbolic funnels nested one inside of the other. And you typically find this in arcade wishing wells and, and money collection things where you roll a marble or a coin and it spins around, gets faster and faster and drops down the center. Now the working principle of a Tesla turbine is actually exactly that. You take the disc, you spray the air or water on a tangent, it spirals round. And that spiraling and ripping the disc is what causes it to rotate. So it rotates because the fluid is passing over in a spiral. Now it's a disc, it doesn't really want to do that. And because you put it in an angle, you can force it to do that. This, of course, already wants to do that. So it makes you think, okay, if that's the case, surely that should work. Now, this is a terrible Tesla turbine. It's thick, it's chunky, there's about two and a half centimetres between each space, and so it shouldn't really work at all. So if that actually works as a Tesla turbine, then that's a little phenomenal. So, let's give it a go! Okay, so to test it out, I've got a very simple rig up. Here we've got a little angle with two sets of bearings in it, and we've got an axle, 8mm axle, sticking through it there. And we're going to take our Tesla turbine and pop it onto the axle. Now, as I said, it's all very often ready, because I just want to see if this concept actually works. Now, if I put a hairdryer on that, we can see if it spins. Okay, that was awesome because this is perhaps the worst made thing ever. I mean, you know, it's as ropey as hell in the print because I do a fast print. It's uh, hugely separated. It should be really close together. And yet, putting a hairdryer on it would get it to spin. So we didn't need high pressure. The angle wasn't very critical. It looks like, courtesy of that rolling vortex that's created in a hyperbolic funnel, this would perform really, really well as a Tesla turbine. So, of course, I've redesigned it so that when you slot it together, it's five millimetres apart. And this is it. You can get this Tinkercad file. I'll put it in the description, and it's an STL. And you can see it's a hyperbolic funnel. And the little spacer there means that when you print these and stack one on top of the other, the gap between them will be five millimetres. <laughs> I can't think of an easier way to make this, to be honest. 
So we're going to print a whole load of those obviously and stack them up and make a finished product out of them. But that is the thinking and the design. Now I've made the file public so that anybody who wants to follow can give, a, give it a go. And anybody who wants to do some work on it and maybe improve it, maybe put, oh there's always those suggestions about spiral grooves in this and Tesla did talk about spiral grooves on his disc. So if you want to get into it, add some spiral grooves, brilliant. I'd love to see them. But that's what I'm doing with it at the moment. And of course, I'm doing this in the middle of everything else that we're doing. But I thought I would share that with you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.